What's up, folks? What is happening? So, a few days ago, it was confirmed that Roger Craig Smith, formerly known as the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, has officially stepped down? Been laid off? Fired? Stopped. He's officially stopped voicing the character, pretty much. Regardless of my opinion on Sonic voice actors, you absolutely cannot deny the fact that Roger's 10-year run was what made many kids, teens, and adults around the world get into Sonic, very much the same way a lot of folks were introduced when Jason was around. This man was in games, cartoons, event hotels, ads, toys, he's even voiced for the character in not one, but two movies. I think it's very safe to say that his impact on the franchise was made, no matter what some pissy baby jaded, ungrateful or tone deaf Sonic fan would tell you. And it's gonna be kinda sad and off-putting to not see him come back in the next game. Definitely the end of an era for sure, and he will be missed. I say that like he died or something. However, this obviously means we're getting a new voice very soon. I'm assuming they're already done with the script for the next game, probably, so we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, for me, I've always identified Sonic as a youthful, hyperactive hedgehog. In terms of where voices go, I've always preferred something a little more higher-pitched and cartoony-sounding, less akin to Roger's more mature sound of the character and more in line with Ryan, Jason, and Jaleel. A lot of people are saying that Ryan or Jason should have a possibility of coming back, especially Ryan due to the heavy possibility of adventure remakes that are definitely happening. Right, Sega? Right? 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 All right. Even though they are my favorite voices for the character, especially Ryan, I really don't see Sega doing something like that. You know, I was actually really hoping they'd let Roger in for the remix. I don't know, it just seemed to me like the two VAs prior were in adventure stories or retellings, so it would only make sense to let Roger have a go or something. For example, Ryan had Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, the originals on the Dreamcast and the GameCube. Jason had the adventure retellings in X. I don't know, just that unison would have been nice. Now, don't get me wrong, I really wish I lived in a reality where Sega wasn't all over the place, pulled Mario and had Ryan be the voice of Sonic forever, but they just don't seem to be that kind of company, you know? Which makes me really sad, because I think it would make everyone happy if they just had the big three voice actors regularly switch and loop to each other per game, actually. Though, I don't know, that's just an idea I have. Now, another actor fans want to have play the character is Max Middleman who voiced for Yuji in Persona and Saitama from One Punch Man. And even though I think his take would friggin' rock, I think Sega was just setting all of this up so that in fact Ben Schwartz, the voice of Sonic in the movie, will be playing the character. A lot of people have been saying that he might be too expensive or he fits cute movie Sonic, not normal Sonic. To which I say to both of those, money has never been a problem for Sega or Sonic's team in the realm of voice work. In fact, I'm pretty sure the reason why they switched to Roger for colors in the first place is because he has more worth in the industry. So I mean, I hate to sound rude or something, but that's a load of baloney. And for the second thing, well, where do I start? I mean, I can't deny it's going to be so weird hearing a new voice for the character when the next game comes out. Heck, it was still a very weird yet pleasantly welcome surprise when I heard Ben as Movie Sonic last year. But this is how I view it. For the past 10 years, Roger as Sonic, just with the writing more specifically, he just wasn't how I viewed the character, you know? The writing was so far away from what I heard with Ryan or Jason that it just doesn't make sense not to have Ben come in for the role. To me, Schwartz sounds in the same direction as what Drummond tried to do with the character, and how I interpreted their direction was the English version of Junichi Kanemaru. The Japanese voice of Sonic the Hedgehog and the longest running one at that as well. You know how I mentioned before that I wish they kept Ryan like they did with Charles Martinet from Mario to keep a consistent voice for the Hedgehog? Well, Junichi Kanemaru has been doing exactly that in Japan for the past 20 years ever since Sonic Adventure 1. So as you can tell for me personally, not only does it seem the most likely for them to be picking Ben and doing the four kids thing they did with Jason Griffith back in 04, but it also seems just better for the character's identity. With that being said, this is all just my personal opinion on the matter at hand. I don't mind any of you in the comments spilling the beans on what you think might happen or what exactly, who exactly you might want to play the role. Anyway, this has just been a little discussion video I wanted to make since I'm actually very passionate about not only Sonic's voice, but just the voice acting business as a whole. Who knows? At the end of the day, it's Sonic's voice and the one who has any say on the matter is, funny enough, Sega of Japan. So who knows what we'll see. Maybe Sonic will be voiced by, like, Tobey Maguire or something. Actually, no. Please, please don't do that. With that being said, this has been your favorite Sonic toy man, Boostifer. See you later, folks, and thank you, Roger, for being a part of my childhood.